reunion games. How do you think John handled it tonight? I thought it was great. You know, I think um, just seeing the crowd and, you know, the starting lineup and how the crowd um, gave him all the love, like, you love to see that, and especially for, you know, a guy who's gave so much to this city. You know, he's given so much to this city and the things he's been to this team and this organization. So it was just great to see the fan support and how they really got up and cheered for him. So it was good to see. I know Reggie didn't play tonight, and, you know, that changed John's role maybe tonight. But as you go through the season, what is it that – he's done so far and what do you expect his role to kind of morph into as the season goes on um actually like we talked about early on like he, he's been better than expected you know for a guy who hasn't played in two years but what he's done for us is he's brought us pace he's brought us getting easy baskets in transition which we struggled with the last three years um, we never got easy baskets we never got out in transition um so he's definitely added that to our team and a guy with his passing ability with his speed and his ability to get into the paint he makes it easy for a lot a lot of the other guys Uh, hey, Coach, uh, Kawhi had over 30 minutes tonight. Just from a health perspective, is he where you all would expect him to be at this time of the season? I'm not sure. I mean, I don't I don't really know what it's supposed to look like. Um, the biggest thing is that he's pain free and, he, and he's not feeling it. So um, that's the biggest thing. It's going to take some time to get his legs and um, get his rhythm. But, um, you know, for the most part, like I said, come off of ACL and be able to play now up to, you know, he's at, he played 30 minutes tonight, you know, which is good for us. And so we know um, it's going to take some time. It's going to be a process. But just having him on the floor um, means so much to our team. As you saw at the end of the game, you know, he scored two, then he went double team, and then Nick Batum hit a big three just because of his presence on the floor. And so that's what we need. Hey, Coach, uh, it's still like a gritty culture of your Clipper team coming in with a road win with John's big night. What did you see from your team tonight? Um, I thought um, I saw the fight that we needed to have. You know, we could have very easily folded early on. We got down 10-0. Um, then we came back. They took it to 13. Um, last game on a road trip. You know, we could have gave in. And so um, just having this group has been a resilient group since I had them the last three years. And just to, you know, continue to play through the game like we did and continue to execute. Um, we got better defensively, um, you know, hold them to 21 and 23 in the third and fourth quarter. You know, in the first two quarters, I didn't think it was ever going to miss, you know, but to be able to hold this, this team to 21 and 23 in the third and fourth quarter by going small with Nick Batum and, um, you know, being able to switch one through five, it really changed the dynamic of our team. And like I said, Zoo's been playing so great for us and we kind of run him into the ground a little bit. So this was a good night to give Zoo off. And like I said, our small lineup helped us win. Just a bigger than basketball type of question. <clears throat> In our community, we saw John Ball kind of speak up about the mental health piece. Can you just talk about the importance of a player like that just showing that you know, athletes are human as well. Oh, I mean, definitely human. So are coaches. You know, I go through the same struggle. And so um, I think when you have situations where you put so much pressure on yourself to be great or to be, you know, be great at what you do, um, sometimes the pressures can eat you up. And you want to do well so much that sometimes it takes a toll on you, you know, mentally and physically. You know, in my, in my stint in Cleveland, you know, sometimes you dive into it so hard that, um, it's hard to get out of it because you want to win so bad. And so, um, you know, talking to Mr. Bomber when I first took the job, being able to have a release, find a release. And, um, you know, a lot of some people play golf, some people go out. Um, so, like, just be able to find a release to not just dive all the way into it where it just consumes you and it becomes a job, it becomes hard work. And so it's hard for me to do because I'm a coach and I like to perfect certain things. And But at the end of the day, you know, your health is the most important thing um, physically and mentally. And so a lot of athletes go through it. You know, a lot of people go through it and they feel like it could weaken them if they come out and say, oh, I got mental health issues. But at the end of the day, um, there's a lot of great players who suffer and go through the same thing. A lot of great coaches, a lot of great human beings. And so it's nothing to be ashamed of. You know, it's one thing you can stand up and just, you know, teach other people, teach the young kids about it's okay to open up about it because there's a lot of successful people who have mental issues. And, you know, it's, it's, you have your own forms of mental issues, but um, it's not a bad thing. Appreciate you, Coach. We just talked about before tip off that your foremost focus was seeing the defensive attempts you guys could live up to that. <clears throat> Not the first half. <laughs> no, I'm saying yeah, we didn't do it the first half. Yeah. But over the last 23, last 17 minutes, you allowed 23 points. Um, what did you see from just the turnaround from when they 
when you guys close on a 15 0 run? Well, I think, you know, like I said, with Zoo, um, that's a tough cover for him to guard Porzingis. You know, a guy 7 2 can put the ball on the floor, um, can shoot the three, can pick and pop, can roll. You know, so it's a tough cover for him, and we understand that. And that's why he plays at five, and that's um, why he was called a unicorn, because, you know, you don't see guys like that um, playing the five position. So, um, you know, I think we went small and we was able to switch a lot of things and keep the ball in front of us. That's what we've been struggling with a lot, you know, early on in the season because Kawhi was out, PG was out. And when we go small, we struggle defensively because we can't keep guys in front of us and then we can't rebound the basketball. Um, but now when you look at it with PG and Kawhi on the floor, it changes the dynamic of our team when we go small. And we talked about that early on. And so tonight was a... Um, a good dose of it. I know Joe was talking about before the game. Let's try to get to that lineup, and we was able to do that. And so, it's just something to build off of. I think defensively we're going to be good, but offensively we got to continue to keep getting better. How what we want to run, how we want to execute, and that's going to be the the biggest challenge. How much of that was lifted directly from your Dallas playoff series against? <laughs> I can't remember. <laughs> um, Kawhi did play 11 straight minutes right off the bat. Do you expect him to play the longer stretches? I didn't want to do that. No, he's been nine minutes the last two games. But, you know, it's funny because, you know, guys laugh when he got the rebound in Orlando. He was pushing it, and I took a timeout. You know, this happened the same, it's a, the same thing happened again. I took an early timeout being down 10 0. And then, you know, it was like 4 15, I think somebody's on the free throw line. And it's, those are things you got to be like, man, do I get him out now? Or the quarter can go. The whole time he never comes out in four minutes straight and it wasn't no stoppage it wasn't a foul and so he ended up playing the whole quarter which mm -hmm. kind of messed our rotations up um and so you know it's just something we got to continue to keep balancing and keep working on and you know knowing he's on the restrictions and we got to be smart about it but we got him you know to where we wanted to get him to but it kind of messed up our rotation in the floor of a game for us you talked about the fight i mean kind of from thirty thousand foot view have you seen that? Has that not been where you wanted it to be up to this point, where you thought it could be, considering that was such a hallmark of last year's team? Um, I, I don't understand. You, you, saw, <clears throat> you saw a fight tonight. No, I so said we kept fighting. Yeah, I mean, I, I thought we'd done some good, good things on this road trip, you know, and um, being shorthanded a lot, like I said, with the minute restrictions, you know, um, it's tough. We get a flow and a rhythm of the game, and then guys got to come out. And it's the right thing to do because we got to make sure we protect our guys. And when guys are being, you know, when guys are injured for a long period of time, you just can't throw them into the fire. Even though they want to, you know, you got to protect them from themselves. And so that's been the hardest part, you know, for me, and I think for the coaching staff, it's just, you know, I really coach off feel and the floor of the game. And so now um, having a coach off a card, you know, it's, it's been different for me. You know, it's something that I got to adjust to, but it's something that's needed right now. And so, um, you know, we're going to, it's going to be some ups and downs. And, you know, we got the floor of the game and we're up 14 and guys got to come out. It just, it is what it is. And so, um, just something we got to continue to keep working through. But having our guys on the floor is big for us. And like I said, we're just going to continue to keep building on this. And we get guys healthy and play the right amount of minutes, then we're going to be very dangerous. I think for me, it's just Marcus both sides of the ball tonight. Um, he, was, he was terrific. I, compare that to what he looked like previously this year. Well, just talking to him, he's like, you know, when those guys come back, I don't have to run ISOs. I don't have to post up the whole time. Like, now I can just spot up and take my threes and I can guard better. I got more energy. And so, you know, you're asking Marcus to play 35 minutes a night and then guard and then having to score, you know, when PG and Kawhi and those guys are out, it's tough. It could take a toll on you. And that's what we talked about. Just, you know, when guys are out, it just puts more – um, minutes and then more stuff on other people like Reggie and, and Marcus and Nico and Zoo. And so now that we're starting to get healthy, guys are starting to come back. Um, like I said, it's going to take the time of getting in the right rhythm, the right rotations, but I'm, I'm happy where we're at right now.